Hello, my name's Ryder, and I want to talk to you guys about, you know, hiking. <laughs> it's lovely, and it's fun, and it's a great way to enjoy the environment. But a lot of females feel uncomfortable hiking by themselves, which I never got that because uh, I do it all the time. Um, I am actually going on a trip to Ireland. And I am going to be answering questions. If I get in a lot of them, I will answer all of the ones I can. But I'm more going over what my point of view is and my thoughts and fears about these experiences. And ooh, look at all these girls are like going crazy. Um, I love hiking. I truly do, and um, sorry, my lips are very shiny. So what happens when you put chapstick on? So I um, will be going to Ireland to backpack it, and I'm beyond excited about that, but I'm terrified. <laughs> and I want to share my experience with you guys because I thought, you know, there has to be girls out here. I, I struggled finding videos on what are the best ways for somebody to go hiking. And I was terrified when I saw there are no female videos on how to backpack through Europe by yourself. And I get there's probably a reason why there's none of those. But I'm doing it and I want some advice and having no advice really was scary. And it still is because I did a lot of preparation. Make sure I said that word right. Um, on this, and I'm excited. I'm very nervous. I literally have papers here of maps and of times that I have to go and be at certain locations and all that stuff. And my hair is driving me crazy. Um, so I like want to make sure. At least I get that done to an extent. But I was more scared in the fact that oops, I missed a child there. Um there are no female stuff whatsoever on if a woman wants to go backpacking through Europe by herself, what is the safest routes and what is the safest things? And I've literally am friends with pilots who are giving me props for this. Um they think it's entertaining and cool that I'm doing it. And they actually are all for it. They told me Ireland's the safest place I could do it. It's definitely better than a lot of other areas. It's more tourist friendly. And they said it shouldn't be that hard. I grew up in New York City. So hopefully it's just like being in New York. Okay, maybe not that way. I would like it to be nicer. But, um... I am excited about the whole trip and losing my voice. Wow. Um, so I just want, if anyone has advice or any information, I would love it. Personally, myself, my advice to those who want to do this at this moment, I say that because I'm going to do it during the whole shit show video and then a what the fuck just happened video right now this is a oh my god what did I get myself into video so, <laughs> yes we will title these um, uh, not really because I want to say and I have a YouTube channel but <laughs> I'm hoping that everyone enjoys the psychoticness of my decision I'm definitely afraid of this but super excited smoke on the water um I'm also more nervous about the fact that I don't know what I'm getting myself into whatsoever and it could be a hair miss situation so I'm praying that it's a great thing I just did but you never know I'm excited about how I'm gonna meet so many new people in these hostels and I'll have my dreads in. Um, you know, I don't have them now. 
I'm getting them in three days. So I'm excited. I will have nice pretty gents. Um, to give you an idea of how sick I am, I literally have vials all over the house of natural oils just for them. It's really good that my mom's like a hippie like me. And we're not. Um, we're, <laughs> we're special. Um, but I'm so happy about this whole situation. I'm sorry, I'm thirsty. And I'm excited that I'm hopefully not going to get kidnapped. <laughs> but that I will be experience everything for the first time. You know what I mean? Experience everything for the first time. I mean, I'm literally losing my life right now. Um, I mean, I will not have anything wrong there. Like, I have a backpack. And that's it. I have to sneeze so bad. Oh, that hurts. Oh. I'm clearly not pro with these videos. I'm psychotic as hell, so I accept that. <laughs> I'm cute, though. Not really. Let's be real. I'm more nervous about the fact that they're going to have accents. And I've dealt with accents through work and stuff. And they know how I am with them. It's either hair or mess. So I'm nervous that I'm going to struggle when I'm in certain towns and villages. And I don't want to be like full on struggling to understand people. But I know eventually it'll get more and more easier. But still, so it'll be an experience. Um, I will be recording it. I'm trying to get my video camera in working condition. I just need that because, oh God, I got to delete the videos of me singing. Holy moly. When that was a phase, um, let's talk about like six years old singing to a video camera. Like, yeah, not fun. Um, plus, I got to delete those because, ugh. I know so many people use that against me. Um, that I'm related to the one. But, sorry, I'm really, like, I don't know what just happened. I died. Um, I just, I'm excited about this. I hope you guys are going to stay tuned about what the frick I just got myself into. Like, oh, this is going to be interesting. But, um. I will also be posting videos on how to pack, well, how I packed for Ireland, on how I traveled through Ireland, how I'm absorbing the information I'm learning, museums, all the fun, cool stuff that people should know before going to Ireland, uh, things that I've learned. While I'm there, and then I want a video of things I've learned after. Right now, I just know that I'm going to Ireland, and I'm staying in a hostel, and I'm taking mostly trains and buses. I'm taking, um, I'm trying to take very cheap routes, because I only have, like, in total, I want to be spending $200. So that's $100 a week. So, uh, that's less than, like, that's around, that's less than $20 a day. So that includes food and stuff. So we will have to see how that works because, oh no, that's very cheap, so that's, and, uh, over there, it's more expensive to buy items. I did math. A pack of cigarettes there is thirteen. It's like thirteen dollars. It's like buying one at train station in New York City. That was crazy. I just couldn't believe it. Probably nobody smokes there. I'm gonna laugh when everyone smokes there. Um, but I'm excited. So fingers crossed. But uh, slide there, sliding out. <laughs>